Hi, this is Dan of Maze, and this is a video review for Dunksweb.com. This review is on a piece of paid software called Movie Plus X3 by Serif. Um, this software could be used as an alternative for Windows Movie Maker. Um, it has a much more professional interface and features than Windows Movie Maker, though. So I'm just going to go to Start New Project. Now I'm going to check widescreen here. We click Start New Project, and it opens up with a widescreen video preview. So if we look at the interface here, we've got the how-to boxes down here, and we can see uh, some tips on how to do things. You can get rid of this if you want to, um, but it's quite good to have up there when you first start using this. Um, we have the video preview box here with some tools. So we have a select tool, pan, zoom, auto fit. TV safe borders and save frame. We also have a DB meter here for audio levels. Here we have a media box, so this is where we will add all our media, so videos, photos, and audio. Here we can click on galleries and we can see all sorts of different effects that we can add. So if we look up here, we can look at transitions, video effects, audio, audio effects, animations, and envelopes. So what we can do is just pick one of these. So if say I wanted an effect, and I wanted to emboss something. There's our embossing options, and we can literally pull those down into the timeline. We also have a properties box there as well. Now, down here is the timeline. Now, we can see this in normal timeline mode, or we can use thumbnail mode as well, um, very much similar to Windows Movie Maker. And here we have some tools. So, we have linking, which is quite cool. We have rippling, markers, text clips and record narration. So this really is quite a nice professional piece of software. So if we go to add media we've got import, download, capture and rip CD. So if you download you can download from a device, you can capture from a webcam or video recorder, you can rip from a CD or a DVD, but import is what takes you to your folder directory. I'm just going to take this folder, this is of the band that I used to be in. And you see that this is coming in as a WMV, so it does support WMVs, which is quite important. So now we've added our media, all we need to do is take this and pull it down into the storyboard or the timeline. So you see it's built the um, wave analysis of the audio and you've also got the individual frames of the video. So just to show you some edi editing I'm going to go to the trim option. Now in the trim option we can simply set a starting point and then set in point and an output point and set out point. Click OK and it's done. Let me just pull this back to the start. Obviously, this will crop your uh, audio as well. So, if we go to galleries, I'm just going to add an embossed effect. So, we pull this down here and add to the video. So now we have an embossed effect. So you can see up in the up in the uh, video preview window, we can have our embossed effect. So this is a very very good piece of software. Um, it's got a lot of features and it will definitely be worth um, switching to if you're looking for a paid video editor, creator and maker. Also a, a little added feature just to finish with is menu designer. You can use menu designer to create DVD menus or menus for your VCDs. So rating wise I would rate this on features uh, as 10 out of 10. There really is pretty much everything you, you, you really need. The interface would be 9 out of 10. Performance, 8 out of 10. There's still some, some little things there that um, could perform better. Like the uh, some of the menus uh, sometimes take a while to load, or some of the um, effects take time to render and things like that. Uh, the price, I've put as 9 out of 10. And overall, this piece of software is 9 out of 10. So please check the Dunks web post for the pricings and the links to this piece of software. And thank you for watching. 
and see you next time.